What's up dudes, my name is Nick, welcome back for another K-pop news video. In this one, we're talking about the fact that YG Entertainment is working on production of a dating show for some reason, and of course, we have no details, but I'm going to share some of the stuff that I'm thinking, and a lot of other people are thinking about it as well. So, let's get into it. So, essentially... We have no details on what this this thing is going to be, other than that they're planning on airing it and it taking place sometime next year. Um, it's in production. They're working out the, the details. They have no idea what format it's going to take. What, nothing. Who's going to participate? There's like zero details. But that doesn't mean that it's not a thing and it's something that they're considering and that it is a thing that people have reactions to, uh, myself included. And so my reaction initially, as was like, as has been people's reaction and their attitude and their frustration with YG Entertainment for at least the last year and a half, at the very least since Blackpink debuted, it seems, that the frustration is that YG is not releasing enough music. There is not enough music coming out of YG Entertainment from the variety of groups that get that 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 are particip- that that are signed under that label. There's you know, and and I kind of do understand and I feel and I I kind of do agree with that. Um, it was something that last night I was like. You know, YG Entertainment, you got all of these groups, you got talented groups, they, and there's, there's things, they need work, they, they have no work, what are you doing, release music, release more music, YG, don't focus on, you know, reality TV shows, like they have been, apparently, Mix 9 is a thing that is, as far as I know, just doing well enough to justify its, its existence on TV, they're gonna, they're obviously developing another TV show for some mysterious reason, and, that's you know that but you know you're you're completely neglecting the the handful of groups the three or four groups that they've got that YG has got that is that are like at the beginning a couple of years of their career and they don't you know seemingly at the, the the perception is that they don't have a whole lot to show for it and you know that's really really frustrating from from a fan's perspective from someone who you know likes listening to music from YG Entertainment or fans of you know any of the groups or even the singers that are the solo singers that, that are signed with YG that you you look and you compare you know what Blackpink has done compared to what Red Velvet has done over at SM Entertainment or what any other girl group has done from one of the you know more um, prolific and more higher reputation, more relevant even, kind of, um, I shouldn't say relevant because people get a little pissy about me, me using the word relevant because that's a bad word and sometimes, but, you know, w- when you look at, you know, Blackpink released, has one release a year, has had one release in, since, one release a year since they've debuted, and, you know, like this year, I think Red Velvet's released like what, two three different they've had they've gone through like two or three different promotion cycles in 2017 alone um when it comes to boy groups icon they released a song this year but you know bts exo any of these other boy groups that you want to compare to um got seven they've released at the very least two uh a year in 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 2017 or within the last 12 months so you know, where, where every other group and every other big company, SM Entertainment, uh, JYP, Big Hit, I guess we're going to consider them as, a, as, one, as one of the top companies as well. You know, their groups are releasing, at the very least, two songs, two music videos are going through two promotion cycles a year, whereas YG groups are doing one every 12 months, if that, and... It's really, really frustrating, and you know, you you get the you get, kind of get the perception, right? And you have the kind of get the idea that if you're releasing one song a year, especially in K-pop, where you have to constantly be per, you know releasing stuff, or else people are going to forget that you exist. You know, one release a year from Icon, they don't feel very relevant to K-pop because they're just not out there in front of people's faces all the time, and they're just they're just they're just not as active in, compared to other groups in K-pop. So it kind of feels right for a lot of people, myself included, that the YG groups are being left behind because they're just not promoting enough, and you know they're not they're they're not going to be. As at the rate that things are going right now, I don't think that there is going to be 
any of the YG groups that are going to be as, you know, th that are going to have the worldwide popularity that both Big Bang and 21 have or that they achieved over their career. Just YG isn't putting enough, they, they just aren't doing enough work to actually get to that point. Um, and and that's that's kind of the the frustrating thing from from a fan from from the from the fans perspective like of course every single person wants more music i want more music from yg too i want more music from blackpink i want more music from from icon i want more music from winner like when was the last time winner released something i can't remember you know in all honesty it's probably it's been more than 18 months i think a year and a half at the very something like that unless the release kind of slipped under the radar and i don't know anything about it but you know, the, I, I feel like just how relevant these groups are to the K-pop scene today is they're not really because they're not actively participating in the scene that much. And, you know, that's perfectly fine. Um, and, and that's kind of something that I do feel. But on the flip side of that, on the other hand, the opposite to kind of counter that point, and this is something that I feel really, that I have a really, really strong, you know, feeling. And this is like the thing that kind of, shapes my viewpoint on when people complain that Blackpink or Icon or Winner or Lehigh or Zion T or anybody else from YG has only has only released like one song a year or one mini album or a single album or anything like that every single year is from my perspective I would really like much rather that YG takes the time to release one stellar exceptional like album that is like album of the year quality for every single group that is a part of YG Entertainment. I would much rather that than to put out two mediocre albums a year or two mediocre, you know, single albums a year or a mini album or a full length album and a mini album or, you know, whatever combination of releases that you want. I would much rather, you know, like like what like what happened with with Lehigh, with Actong Musician, with with Zion T, even you know, take a year and a half between breaks between releases, and put out a really 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 good album, you know, something that is like top quality. People are going to talk about it. People are for the entire year. It's going to be something that is going to be remembered for the rest of time in K-pop because of how good it is. I would much rather that. You know, even though I'm not really a big, I'm not necessarily a, you know, huge fan of, of Blackpink's music. Some of it's really good, some of it's not. You know, their music has been stuff that is definitely going to be something that people will kind of, you know, talk about for, you know, at least a year, at the very least, or even more than that. You know, their their music has been really good. Icon has been doing the same thing. Winner's music, when they release something, has been something that's been really kind of impactful in that sense as well. Um, Big Bang, obviously, is just doing Big Bang things. They, they can release whatever they want to do. But, you know, their whole Made series and all that album was also some really, really top quality, really awesome music. Um, like I just talked about Lehigh a year and a half or two ago with her album. Uh, Zion T with his album this year. I mean, the music is really, 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 really good. And so the people who complain and say, like, you're not releasing enough music. you got to put out more stuff. Like, I understand the, the frustration with the whole you know, it's kind of like K-pop moves at the speed of the internet or technology does where, you know, the everything doubles, like what is it, like every 18 months or something like that. And, you know, it, it's definitely a thing, you know, the, you know, you as a, as a you know, the fans, I think of, of YG groups definitely feel like they're being left behind in comparison to what other, you know, groups are doing like Twice and Red Velvet on, you know, what, a, you know, you just name, pick, pick another group from a bit from a big company and YG, YG groups just are not, don't have, are not putting stuff out as quickly so they're kind of getting left behind in that sense but that all being said the music that that all of these groups are making is much better i think and it is much it has it has a much longer you know lifespan in the you know context and the discussion of k-pop as a whole than you know anything that really i don't want to say anything than what most of the the big groups are putting out like people aren't going to be aren't necessarily going to be talking about and go and reminiscing and looking back at how awesome the the you know twice albums were from from this year beyond the the next couple of months you know people aren't going to be doing that but you know i personally frequently go back and i listen to that zion t album all the time i listen to that lehigh album all the time it's like those are those are going to be old albums they're going to age really really well they're going to be fantastic um red velvet zion um you know, twice, 
BTS, GOT7, whoever, are they going, are they going to be something that people talk about, you know, past six months? Who knows? You know, BTS is definitely doing some stuff that's really, really good and high quality as well. But, you know, there's, it's just, it just is a kind of a thing. Like, do you want quality over, or, or do you want quality or do you want quantity? Because it's really hard to get both. You can't, you know, upload or you can't release uh, mass quantities of music and have all of it be really, really good top quality stuff. You know, it just it just isn't the way that it works. I mean, EXO released their their album, uh, The War. It's been a year or so since they you know last had a major release, and that's a really fantastic album. It's a really really kind of fantastic song. Um, you know, Coco Bob Power, all that stuff. Really really awesome kind of stuff that's all associated with that. You know, they took the time to produce something really really good. Um, any 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 group that you that you look at that that is you know producing music that is really good that people talk about for more than the promotion cycle that it's promoted in it's it's all stuff that took more than a year for you know between releases between major releases i should say for it to happen um and that's it's just that's just the way that it goes and that's why i like yg's music is because they take the time to produce stuff and i know that it feels like you know all of these groups are being neglected it definitely feels like winner is being neglected and they're not giving them enough work and they're not doing all this other stuff. But I would much rather them release one really, really good music song album, you know, instead of working themselves to death constantly, on, you know, on a constant promotion cycle every, for you know, for 12 months out of the year or 11 months out of the year since they normally take, I think it feels like they take December off. A lot of these com- companies and groups do. So, you know, that's, that's kind of the thing is like, would you, would you rather like for or three or four, you know, two month long promotion cycles a year, or would you rather one really, really good release with a couple month promotion cycle and then they the, the members can like rest and recover and recuperate and of course focus on putting out another really good top quality, you know, sort of album and developing as, you know, musicians and artists and performers, you know, dancers, singers, whatever it is that they want to do you know, is it, is it better to kind of spend the time developing as, as a, as an artist or just, just, just making stuff because that's what K-pop is, you know, it's, it's a, it's an interesting kind of, kind of thing, which I think, I think now that, now that I think about it is a really good sort of topic for a, um, for a Sunday discussion video, basically on why I think that YG Entertainment you know, is, is, is a really, really good, you know, company and all that stuff where what, what YG does really, really well in comparison to, to a lot of the other, other groups or companies, I should say. So that's really all I got to say about this. It's like, you know, I know that a dating show from YG entertainment is completely out of left field and that's really, really weird. I don't understand why they're doing it either. It doesn't make any sense to me. It definitely feels that with Mix9 and both and now this show that they aren't necessarily focusing on producing music as much as they should be but I don't really know I believe that is it is it Icon I think who's slated for a comeback in January so they're not forgotten they're definitely working on something um but you know it just it just doesn't feel like that that there's a lot of work going on maybe what YG should do is promote the work that they're what what their plans are like i know that they don't want to release anything and say like oh yeah you know we're planning on a black pink comeback in february and then they're not gonna then then you know the february thing doesn't happen because it wasn't like and then yg is like it wasn't like literally confirmed that it was happening it was just like this was our plan this was a suggestion like I think fans would much rather, you know, vague plans and vague ideas of what's going on, what you're working on, what you're planning, what you're thinking, instead of keeping that super, super secret, not knowing anything. And then the news that they do get is that you're working on a dating pro- on, a, on a dating TV show. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. I, I, would, I, would, I would prefer information, you know, having a lot of information that's that's not completely nailed down and finalized versus zero information and the only info that we get is actually stuff that is final going to happen for sure so that's that i talked about i talked way too long this wasn't really kind of scripted because i decided i was going to scrap this i was just going to like not follow the script that i'd written previously because it didn't really i think capture everything that i wanted to get to and so that's going to be it so i want to know your guys thoughts and opinions on this whole story and all of this because of course you know people people are like dating show what happened to the music yg you got so much talent that you're wasting um which i agree with that but at the same time i don't agree with that so 
I want to know what you guys think about about that. What your reaction is to the news that YG Entertainment is working on a date on a dating program. So put your thoughts and all that stuff down in the comments below. Don't be afraid to share whatever it is that you think. If I mean, if you think that people are not going to like it, they're not going to appreciate it, then I'm definitely going to encourage you to share that. Like, don't worry about it because the community that that I'm trying to build here, that I am you know, building here is all about having some free and open discussion about our thoughts and opinions, no matter what they are. It doesn't matter if we agree. It doesn't matter if we disagree. Just share your thoughts. I'm interested in hearing them. I'm sure there's a lot of other people that are interested in hearing them. And of course, we want to discuss and share our thoughts. So leave all that stuff down in the comments below. If you want to join that community, if that sounds awesome to you, then please do consider clicking on the subscribe button down below. With all that being said, that's going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.